last time we saw you guys, we were in the Galapagos. It was so amazing. We had such an awesome time. But we have gotten off the plane and we've arrived here back in Quito. And now we're gonna go and check out the van, see how that's doing. And then we're gonna pick up our pets. We're so excited to see them. It wasn't the best choice for parking because we haven't been getting solar, so we had to shut off the fridge. What are the batteries at in there? 63. Oh, nice. Fantastic. Ooh, that smells bad. Okay, not that bad. Not as bad oh, as I... Bad yeah, it's kind of bad. Oh, there it is, okay. Uh, so this has to go under the hood for us to be able to drive away. Okay, I think I'll get that fuse in the right spot. Let's see. Boom! No problem at all. No engine code even. Pulling up to pick up some Brita. They gave her an extra vaccine and everything. Yeah, and she also got a bath this morning, so I'm so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> Hola, estamos aquí. Sombrita! <laughs> Hola, sombrita. Hola. <laughs> Hola, qué limpia. Baby, we got her bed. We got the dog. Let's see. Let me go in with her and see what she does first. Battery. Sombrita. Vamos. ¿Qué piensas? La casa, baby. ¿Te gusta? Ven aquí, sube. Échate. Oh. Oh, my baby girl. My baby. She smells so good. We saw swimming dogs just like you, Sombrita. Buena chica. Chica. Okay, let's go get Grammy. <laughs> Yay, we're almost to Grammy boy. Hopefully he's as excited to see us as we are to see him. I hope that he's like, meow, 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 I miss you. Yeah. Are you a little sea lion? We went to go get Graham and Sombrito was like, don't leave me alone. Are you ready to see Grammy? It's Grammy Sombrita. Tranquila. <laughs> you in there? Yeah. Oh, damn. Grammy! Welcome to the van. Oh, he loves me. What you going to do in the van first thing, buddy? <laughs> huh? You're gonna come and find Oh, me. Emily's gonna give you some food. How's it feel? Oh my gosh, look at the little boy. Hmm. He's a good guy. He is a great guy. Oh, what do you think, Graham? Huh? You want a spot up there, my boy? You like hiding up there, huh, little buddy? There you go. Uh, from. I can't believe. First day back to the van. Back with the little kitty here. I was able to find this skate park here. This compound is crazy. It's near Quito, pretty much in Quito, the capital of Ecuador here. There's kickboxing, a climbing wall, tennis, paddleboard, restaurants, hair cutting places. What a find. I'm a bit beat from all the travel. Really one of the best skate parks I've ridden in a long time. Kind of small, like the height of the ramps, but really fun setup, well made. We were kind of hoping we could sleep here at the skate park, but it's a pretty fancy area and we're getting the boot here, they're closing up. We'll see what we can find tonight, first night back. <laughs> the challenge of being back in a van. We just opened up our Patreon. There's a special offer only for one more week, so make sure you check the link in the bio and the link up top to find out what it is. We actually found a shower over in here, so what the heck, I'm all sweaty. <laughs> Pretty nice after the BMX to have a shower before sleeping in the van my first night. I was able to put some stuff away while Danny was riding his bike, but we're going to stay in the spot that we stayed before we left, Quito, which is just really a park. On the dog and cat front, Graham has been so cuddly. 
And Sombrito has been so sleepy. She was able to play with some dogs today, so she's really happy to be home as well. We were cuddling for a while. I'm so ex I'm so glad to see my pets so happy. It is always nerve-wracking leaving. This time, it was a lot easier staying in the same country. You know, we weren't ever not going to be allowed back in. It just feels really good to be back in the van together. We're heading up to Volcan Cotopaxi tonight. We're going to bed early because tomorrow morning we're waking up to see the sun rise and hopefully a clear beautiful view of this mountain. For our first spot after the Galapagos, we decided for the maximum contrast to come up to the second highest volcano in Ecuador, Cotopaxi. We've been dreaming of this mountain for over a year after reading a really sweet travel book called The Road Chose Me by Dan Grek. And in the book, he actually volunteered at a hostel up here, the secret garden, Cotopaxi, and just really portrayed in the book what an amazing view of the mountain there is. As we got closer we looked up the secret garden. Turns out it's $30 a person just to sleep in your van. <laughs> There's plenty of free spots. You have to wake up at sunrise and we were a little bit nervous. It really paid off and we were so lucky to have a clear view of the mountain. Just up here mountain watching. Not just Emily, who else appreciates the view? <laughs> Oh, you guys! I think they missed each other, huh? Yeah, you guys missed each other. They're seeming like a little bit nicer to each other than usual. Look at this pose. You love her! After our morning admiring the mountain, we're heading for a drive through the National Park. This landscape is so epic looking and I feel very lucky to have been able to drive here because I think if you flew here you would just feel like this was a whole other planet and be a bit disoriented. But I can just picture the whole geography from here to Spokane, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> this park also has a nice museum to learn about the flora, fauna, and the way this enormous volcano was formed. Like most places we visit, it also has the effects of climate change, showing how the glaciers have receded, unfortunately, over the past couple years. We made a fire here! Oh, that was you! I thought it was the fire! Oh, it's so good making a fire. We bought the firewood from the campground that we didn't stay at and decided to head over here to a free spot. Firewood was five bucks, 
So we're gonna make some sweet potatoes on the fire. Camote, they're like the kind of purpley sweet potatoes. But we're just waiting for some embers to build up first. We'll wrap them up in some tin foil and then put them right on the fire. Let the embers cook them up and have some delicious sweet potato for dinner. So Brita found a friend here, which is also really cute. I have no idea where this dog came from because we've been on a dirt road for like five, 10 minutes. So <laughs> he might just be a farm dog. We did see some cows earlier. But dang, we did an awesome job despite it raining. Great job making the fire, good teamwork. The log cabin kind of unlogged cabin. <laughs> So I cleaned off the potato with some vinegar and water and I'm gonna massage the oil a little bit. Some salt, oregano, rosemary seasoning, and then some pepper. So then I'll wrap it up. I'm gonna double wrap it because this aluminum foil isn't as good as other aluminum foil we've got. Got a nice burrito, I mean potato. Dinner! <laughs> Get pete. <laughs> we're gonna rearrange <laughs> we're gonna rearrange the fire so that we can get the nice coals and put the sweet potatoes on top. Nothing better than cooking on a fire. I was not expecting it to be purple on the inside, but wow, what an amazing sweet potato. It tastes so good. And on the side, I made a mushroom, broccoli, onion sauce with it. So nice full meal. Super tasty. So bad news this morning. I was taking the cat and the dog out for a little walk. When I went to get back into the van, I noticed the front passenger tire has kind of a notch taken out of it. We have to find a new tire. And we were gonna get tires a while ago, but it was just so hard and annoying and people kind of like lied to us and said, oh, we have that tire and then we would get there and it does, it's not the one. So getting tires is pretty annoying. <laughs> So Danny's calling people thankfully right now. He, uh, I really would not want to do it. And it sounds like he did find at least one place, but he's gonna ask them to send a picture of it because literally the last time we found a place, we drove there and we were sitting in the office and they even like put the tires on and then we realized like, this isn't a high weight tire. We had to tell them to take them all off and we're not gonna buy them and yeah, it was super annoying. Danny's doing that hard work. <laughs> oh man. Trying to find tires in Ecuador. Whew. Not the first country I've done it though, so we'll get this. <laughs> Check this out. Emily over here working on the video in the meantime with Graham is like actually on your leg. Oh my god. Sombrita as close to Emily as possible. <laughs> and let me show you guys the state of this tire. This is insane, honestly. Emily just spotted this somehow, thankfully. We can always throw on our spare. Do this search, we got two phones going here. You can see we're getting messages from Fide Castro, pretty close to Fidel Castro on this phone. Over here looking up all the tire places, giving him a call. One of them's supposed to call me back, so that hasn't happened yet. But on here, oh gosh, that size isn't even close. I don't think that's gonna fit. But this guy, it's looking good. He's gonna send me a picture so I can make sure Oh, I think I did it. I think I did it. We got these tires. Decent price, you know. They look pretty aggressive. And uh, we can get them on today. Hour 20 drive on that sketchy tire. Woo, gonna have to go slow. Honestly, you don't go that fast here. Or we put on the spare. Back to Quito. <laughs> Nothing against these tires. These hand cooks have been great. We just tend to try to get the full use out of our tires. When we woke up this morning, we were like, hey, do you want to go to this little town or that mountain over there? And neither one of us thought, hey, do you want to go sit in a mechanic and get all the tires changed? <laughs> but that is just the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> Pretty slow going, but so far so good. Despite all the potholes on the way here, we made it to the shop. I knew Danny was just holding his breath to look at the new tires. 
but they are in fact the right PSI, the right size. They weren't lying to us, so that's <laughs> super nice. And he's already on his way putting them on. 1.43, I think Danny started calling at 10 o'clock. Good work, Danny. Ooh, tire number one, looking fresh. Whoa, feels like we're rolling on the clouds right now. Smooth sailing. These tires should take us all the way down to the very bottom end of the Pan American Highway. Woo, and we brought up from Ecuador. <laughs> it was pretty insane though, because when I go to pay, I said to the guy, oh, it's 776, right? And he goes, no sé. And I count out the money. It takes like forever, you know? And the whole time he's kind of like, Ugh. and he just goes, good. And he fist bumps me. And I said, uh, where's my $4 change? And he just goes, no. I said, que? It's a precio. Like, what, that's the price. Like, how, what do you mean no? How are you not going to give me my change? And he just goes to fist bump me. And I, I'm like, no, I'm not fist bumping you, dude. <laughs> and he reaches his hand in his apron and he pulls out a bunch of coins and just drops it like that. All right, I guess that's good enough. And he goes for the fist bump and I'm like, nah, man, still not gonna give you a fist bump. You got another dollar for me? <laughs> but I mean, for those of you who might think I'm a cheapskate, I gave a $20 tip to the mechanic. He was awesome. I asked the other mechanic when I gave him the tip. I was like, dude, is your boss drunk? And he was like, yeah, sorry. He gets pretty drunk and he kind of acts crazy. It's like, yeah, well, it's all right. Don't worry about it. All in all, pretty smooth, but uh, it turned out the owner was a drunk. Hey, whatever. We got these tires that were obviously kind of hard to find, so I don't care. Let's chat with some drunk guy. <laughs> so I'm out here ordering a pizza. Emily's working on the video. And let's see if I can get my head shaved. While we're out here, surprise her. <laughs> oh, this is. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is. not gonna know at first. <laughs> and that guy was watching some Rita the whole time. Hey babe, I brought this pizza. Woo, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, here, take this. Take this. Okay. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four bucks. Surprise. <laughs> I told her I was gonna do it. What do you think? It feels cool. Yeah, it feels good. What do you think about my hair? I'm I miss your old hair. Uh, <laughs> the old, like old, old hair? No, the last haircut. Graham, what do you, you think? You look handsome. You think he's gonna notice a difference? You look handsome. Mm. Oh yeah, he does notice. He's sniffing you. If you like this video, let us know in the comments, like and subscribe. And if you'd like to join our family, head over to the Patreon to pledge. Thanks, we'll see you guys next time.